guys, good morning. I want to show you a 10 minute workout that you can do for your upper body using one simple piece of equipment, a tube. These tubes are amazing. They come in different colors, different strengths. So I suggest that you have more than one and you can change it up for the different exercises. So let's start out with shoulders. I'm going to take one foot and place it underneath the tube. Come on down, soften into the knees a little bit and lift directly to the side. And as you lift, be sure that you're not shrugging your shoulders, that you're keeping your arms long, the elbows are straight, and the wrists neutral. So even in this position, I'm having to work on my balance, I'm working a little bit of lower body and core just to stabilize myself while I'm working my arms. Now, you can do these nice long lifts like this, or you can stay here and do the tiny pulses. They're all good, so do a little bit of both. 60 seconds for each exercise. Got it? All right, try placing both feet in to give yourself a little bit more resistance. I'm gonna separate my feet a bit wider, take my elbows in here, and do some bicep curls. So arms are hugging into the body to keep me feeling strong and stable. As I come up, I'm gonna give a nice squeeze of the biceps, and as I lower down, I'm gonna maintain my control. Now, if you'd like to change this up a bit, stand up and take the arms away from your body and take it from here. As you curl in and out, you've got to stabilize a little bit more because you don't have your arms hugging into your body this time. So bicep curls, got it? Good. All right, turning to the side. Um, again, I'm gonna soften into the knees, stick my booty out back and get nice length in my spine, turn the palms open, and I'm gonna press directly behind with straight arms. This is a great one to work the backs of our shoulders, the rear, rear deltoids, and also to find that length in our spine and work lots of postural muscles. So pressing back, long and strong. 60 seconds, remember you can add these little pulsing exercises as well. They're all good. Triceps, guys. A couple ways to do this. I'm gonna take one foot out and bring it down low. Starting with my hand by my hip, pull the elbow behind you so it's not sticking out to the side. I'm gonna flip my palm around and start by extending and bending behind, keeping the elbow behind me. You can also flip the hand around so that the knuckles face the other direction. It just changes it up a little bit. Maybe you take it here and you flip it this direction and then flip it this direction. The important thing is that you're keeping your elbow lifted and behind you and you're getting full extension of the elbow. 60 seconds each side. Here's another way to do triceps. I'm gonna move my foot down a little bit and take my arm all the way up overhead and press and extend this direction. All the way up and all the way down, making sure that your arm is hugging into your body, which keeping your ribs pulled in and you're maintaining alignment and form. Make sure you do both sides. Here's another great one to do. Both feet go back on and then I'm gonna crisscross these. Left over right, right over left, it doesn't matter. Soften into the knees and pull straight back. I'm drawing my elbows up and back and giving a really nice squeeze between my shoulder blades. So this is working, again, postural muscles. And again, you can take it here and do the little pulses this direction just to change it up. Yeah, good job, you guys. All right, I'm gonna show you one more upper body exercise you can do without any equipment. Finding your kitchen um, island or maybe a wall. We're gonna do two different kinds of push-ups. So make sure everything is long and strong. First set, my elbows are gonna hug in to my body and push out. Elbows stay close to my body. Kind of like doing a chaturanga. So this works my triceps, my shoulders, my chest, my back. Then my second set, I'm gonna take those elbows a little bit wider and as I bring it in, I'm gonna feel more chest work. My heels are lifted. I'm trying to keep my body straight and strong. So this is a great way to get some upper body work if you don't like to do push-ups, which I don't like to do push-ups. Um, and again, I'm just here in my kitchen. If you've got 10 minutes and you've got a tube, uh, I want you to do 10 minutes of arms and come back tomorrow. I'll show you how to do some lower body and some abs. Anytime, anywhere, every day. You guys have a great day. See ya.